When we let our gaze wander to the firmament during starry nights, we get an authentic impression of how gigantic our galactic home really is. Just like the countless twinkling stars we see in the night sky, our earthly home and its planetary system are located in that barred spiral galaxy we call the Milky Way. This cosmic collection of thousands and thousands of stars, celestial bodies, gas nebulae, and dust clouds have fascinated astronomers for millennia. The groundbreaking discoveries that are regularly recorded in the Milky Way prove that we are still far from having unraveled all the great mysteries of our home galaxy. You'll learn about some of the extraordinary natural structures and objects that researchers have come across in the barred spiral galaxy in the following video. Excited about the fascinating spectacles and discoveries of our universe? Then don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn more about these thrilling topics on a regular basis. Feel free to show us that you like the content of our videos with a thumbs up. Now let's take a look at the strange phenomena recently observed in the Milky Way by renowned scientists. Fast Radio Bursts Fast radio bursts are lightning-fast but enormously intense bursts of radio waves that usually originate in distant galaxies. Within a single decade, experts have recorded about 1,000 of these fascinating phenomena. However, because the emissions last only a few milliseconds at a time, Studying the radio flashes in detail is a very difficult task. In fact, experts have only been able to trace a tiny fraction of the phenomena back to their extragalactic sources. Unbelievable but true, although the lifespan of radio flashes is sometimes only a thousandth of a second, they generate as much energy as the sun during these fleeting moments. Because of the natural obstacles associated with studying these radio wave emissions, scientists still cannot say with absolute certainty how the short-lived phenomena are created. The five fast radio bursts recently probed with the help of the Hubble Space Telescope may now help solve this mystery. In the course of their research, experts not only succeeded in tracing the radio bursts back to their home galaxies, but also in producing high-resolution images of those galactic areas. Specifically, the source of the emissions is located in the regions around the spiral arms of the corresponding host galaxy. Discoveries of this kind help researchers get to the bottom of the cosmic mystery. Important conclusions about the galaxy's properties can be drawn from the images. This includes the analysis of the mass distribution and the determination of the star formation rate. As soon as scientists recognize which galactic spectacles are taking place in the positions of origin, they'll be able to consider whether the galactic processes might also lead to the emission of fast radio bursts. The world of fast radio bursts is divided into two different classes. For one, there are regular, repeating radio bursts, called repeaters. Then, there are those phenomena which only occur once and are therefore incomparably more difficult to investigate than their counterparts. Among the five fast radio bursts that were recently observed by the Hubble Space Telescope and traced back to their origin, there was for the first time a radio burst that was not a repeater. Search for the origin. The exact interactions ultimately responsible for the generation of these lightning-fast formations are still largely unknown. A wide variety of theories exists in the scientific community that attempt to explain conclusively the origin of fast radio bursts. In the course of the recent study, the thesis that the formations originate in magnetars has become the focus of scientific interest more than ever. Magnetars are certain forms of neutron stars, which are characterized by their incomparably strong magnetic fields. These fascinating celestial bodies are formed when massive stars go supernova. The small structures usually have an intrinsic diameter of just over 12 miles. Magnetars have always been known for releasing strong emission bursts, called flares. The corresponding eruptions are so intense that we can even reproduce them on our Earth under favorable conditions. 
And indeed, the hypothesis that the fast radio bursts are generated in the course of these flares is currently being hotly debated among experts. According to this hypothesis, the immensely strong magnetic processes on the magnetars could cause enormous radio wave flashes to be emitted. However, it will be several years before the question of the true galactic source of these breathtaking phenomena can be fully answered. In fact, researchers have only known of the existence of these cosmic spectacles for 20 years. The first fast radio burst in the Milky Way The thesis that magnetars represent the birthplace of fast radio bursts is supported, meanwhile, by a discovery astronomers registered in our Milky Way within the past year. The phenomenon was the first fast radio burst ever detected in our home galaxy. The source of the emission was the magnetar named SGR 1935-2154. While the closest detected radio wave pulse had occurred 490 million light-years away from our home planet, the corresponding magnetar in the Milky Way is only 32,600 light-years away from our Earth. SGR 1935-2154 is one of about 30 known magnetars in our home barred spiral galaxy. Researchers at the STAIR-2 radio telescope in California and Utah were lucky enough to capture the full magnitude of the fast radio burst. According to them, the radio burst was by far the brightest ever studied scientifically. As groundbreaking as this discovery was among researchers, it nevertheless raised some new mysteries. According to the findings, the measured intensity of the burst was 1,000 times weaker than those fast radio bursts produced in other galaxies. And even if the thesis that the magnetars are the origin of these spectacles should prove to be correct, the question remains open which galactic interactions ultimately cause the fast radio bursts. With respect to this issue, scientists are currently using two different approaches. On the one hand, it's possible that the process is triggered by a phenomenon inside the magnetar. So, it's conceivable that so-called star quakes occur in the celestial bodies, in the course of which parts of the surface are torn open and energy flows outward. The alternative theory starts again in the strongly magnetized regions around the magnetar. Here, a so far unknown event could provide for the emission of radio waves. Strange formation in the center of the Milky Way The question about the origin of the fast radio bursts isn't the only topic holding researchers within the Milky Way spellbound. Some time ago, several strange formations were discovered in our home galaxy, which were completely unknown to the experts until then. For some years, experts have been united in the fact that the center of the Milky Way is adorned by a gigantic black hole. This structure, which was given the name Sagittarius A star, influences the celestial bodies in its immediate vicinity in a lasting way. Among the most enigmatic objects orbiting the supermassive black hole are six celestial bodies that initially could not be classified in a common scientific scheme. Visually, the structures resemble classical gas formations, but in reality, they behave like conventional stars. Thus, the objects opened a series of completely new celestial bodies, now summarized as G-Class. The Enigma of G-Objects the first object of this kind, the structure called G1, was tracked down by experts about 15 years ago. This was followed in 2011 by the discovery of G2, a gigantic gas cloud whose mass is three times greater than that of our home planet. By all appearances, G2 was heading straight for Sagittarius A star. Two years after its first discovery, large parts of the gas cloud drifted to within about 16 billion miles of the supermassive black hole. In the course of the immense forces that then acted on G2, the object was pulled apart. To date, six G objects have been discovered in the region around Sagittarius A star. Especially puzzling is the fact that the structures expand like conventional gas and dust clouds as soon as they approach the black hole at a certain distance, but at the same time, they display the dynamic characteristics of stars. Even stranger, the objects do not seem to lose any of their own matter during their regular flybys around Sagittarius A star. Specifically, the different G objects need between 170 and 1600 years to completely orbit the central black hole of the Milky Way. Some experts are of the opinion that the mysterious celestial bodies could be merged stars. 
This thesis is based on the fact that G2 lost its gas shell during its approach to Sagittarius A star, but not its dense dust mantle. So, it's possible that the debris of the merged stars was too stable to be sucked up by the giant black hole. How imposing the spectacles of the universe are becomes clear to us when we take a look at the dimensions of G1 and G2. Each of the two formations occupies an area approximately equal to that of our solar system. What do you think about the mysterious phenomena and structures in the Milky Way? Write us your thoughts, feedback, and suggestions in the comments. Also have a look at the exciting videos we've linked for you in the credits. Thanks a lot for watching, take care, and we'll see you next time.